So, I got something to talk about for you uh, broke people, you poor people, you cheap ass people, and everyone that fits under that category. So, we're gonna talk about this motherboard that I used in my uh, last Ryzen build, the MSI B350 PC Mate. A couple of you guys expressed interest in uh, wondering if this uh, motherboard was legit or not. So I thought I'd just do kind of like a brief overview uh, slash review slash my thoughts type of thing on uh, this motherboard and let you know about its uh, features and stuff. So let's talk about it a little bit. So let's start with the look. So it's uh, pretty much a bland motherboard as far as uh, color scheme goes, it's just kind of black and gray. Uh, which is nice. I actually like the neutral color scheme because that means you can fit pretty much any type of, uh, you know, GPU or whatever fan combo with it and it's going to match or go nicely together. So um, there are no onboard LEDs or anything like that. So if you're looking for uh, that type of blingery, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, um, you're not going to get with that board here. I actually think this board, or I've heard, is pretty similar to the MSI B350 Tomahawk, minus some of the features. I haven't actually messed with that board at all, so I can't uh, verify that, but uh, if you have, maybe you can compare it to this and uh, let me know. As far as the power delivery for this motherboard, it looks like it's got a six phase power design, or maybe four plus two, depending on the uh, controller there. It's kind of eyeballing it, but uh, something like that. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. I don't think affecting my overclock. I think really my chip has been the limiting factor and the overclocks that I achieve. So uh, again, that hasn't seemed to be an issue for me. Now, one thing I like about this motherboard, despite it being cheap, uh, by the way, I actually got this motherboard for like 80 bucks. That's the whole reason I, end up, I ended up with it. It was the cheapest uh, ATX B350 motherboard I could find. If I didn't mention that, by the way. Uh, surprisingly, it has four system fan headers on here and they're all four pins. So um, you know, if you've got plenty of fans in your case and you want to connect them to this motherboard, that shouldn't be an issue. You also have one for your CPU fan and a uh, pump header as well. So, you know, plenty of cooling options on this board, which I like. There's even an RGB header on board here. So if you did want to spice it up a little bit with, you know, some LED strips or some crap like that, you can connect them on here and then control it with MSI's, uh, I think it's called the Mystic Light software. Now as far as storage goes, um, I did notice you do have only four SATA ports with this board, which kind of sucks. I would like to have at least six there, but I guess if you're not running a ton of drives, that may not be an issue for you. I also hate how two of them run vertically instead of horizontally. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, that's a thing. Um, luckily this board also supports uh, or it has an M.2 slot on here as well. So um, you know, maybe if you're running out of SATA ports, you can buy a uh, M.2 SSD. And this one supports PCIe as well as SATA, so you really can go with either one. So let's see, what else on this board? Uh, it does have two USB 3.1 Gen 1 connectors for your uh, front panel connectors on your case. I would have preferred maybe some more rear USB ports uh, instead of internally. You get uh, six total here on the rear. Four of them are USB 3.1 Gen 1. One of them has a Type-C connector, and then you've got uh, two USB 2.0 ports there on the back. No optical audio, so if that's a uh, if that's important to you, like it is for me because of my amp DAC, uh, then that may be an issue for you there. Aside from that, you got Realtek Gigabit LAN and uh, audio chipsets. There's a little separation in the PCB for the audio section to prevent uh, interference and things like that. That's a pretty common thing on motherboards these days. Uh, this one does light up when the motherboard is powered on, so that's really the only. I guess lighting that's on board, even though it's not really LED lighting. And then as far as USB ports go, you've got uh, one PCIe 3.0 by 16 slot. So that'll be of course for your graphics card. There is another full slot here, which is PCIe uh, 2.0 by 16, but it actually is only wired for uh, by four. So you won't be able to run a second graphics card here. Um, technically it does support Crossfire, but I really wouldn't do that anyway. Uh, if you want to run two cards, you should definitely grab an X370 board. Um, there's also a couple of buy one slots and then some old school PCI slots down at the bottom. I don't know anyone who has devices that still use these. Um, if you guys do, let me know down below, but uh, I don't know why these 
still show up on uh, budget boards. I hate those. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the main board. So let's go ahead and, and uh, just jump into the BIOS real quick. Uh, so I had a pretty simple setup here. It's nothing too fancy, but should get the job done. If we go into the OC section, you can see here, this will be, of course, where all of your overclocking options are. Um, there is no base overclocking or P-state overclocking. Uh, as far as I'm aware, or at least I didn't see anything here, but I was able to, uh, of course, set my multiplier here. I've got my CPU overclocked to uh, 3.8 gigahertz. You can also change your uh, CPU core voltage, your CPU uh, NB voltage and DRAM voltage. Uh, CPU NB voltage is the same as SOC voltage um, that you may see on other boards. But uh, yeah, you're gonna set those there. You can set your, um, you know, your LLC options. Um, as far as the RAM goes, there are some preset timing configurations that you can choose if you want to try to overclock your RAM beyond what it's rated for or uh, something other than the XMP profile. It didn't really work for me, but it may work for you. Um, of course, you can just set your standard XMP profile or just go in and manually type in your timings and stuff like that. So I was able to get my CPU up to, uh, well, I shouldn't say up to, but I've got it overclocked to 3.8 gigahertz at 1.362 volts which uh, for my chip's not too bad. I was able to get around the same thing with my uh, Crosshair uh, 6 Hero motherboard. I didn't really see a difference in terms of uh, max overclock because I think my overclock is chip limited rather than with the motherboard. Aside from that, you do get some fan options here. Um, there aren't any preset fan curves, which I don't like. You pretty much just kind of mess with this curve, this fan curve here and kind of uh, change the plot points around to where you want them at. Uh, admittedly, I couldn't actually get my pump to not run at full speed unless I set it to uh, DC, but then it would kind of turn off completely at times, which uh, I didn't really like. But um, yeah, you can control the fans from here. I would have liked to have seen maybe some preset fan curves, but it is a budget board, what can you do? And yeah, I think that's pretty much all of the relevant things with regards to this board. Um, you know, I was able to, uh, again, overclock to 3.8 gigahertz at uh, 1.362 volts. I got my RAM running at 2666 megahertz um, like it's supposed to. Timings were, I had to mess with them a little bit and up the voltage to get it to boot, but I think that's more just a, a Ryzen specific thing. But aside from that, the board seemed to work for me. I think it's pretty much a, I think it's a pretty decent option if you are on a budget, again, I was able to score mine for 80 bucks. So if you're able to grab it for around that price, then I think it's a good buy. If you're getting into like the 90 to hundred dollar uh, range, then you may want to weigh your options a little bit. Now that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think about this motherboard down in the comments below. Yeah, like this video if you guys like this type of content. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm out to the next video. See ya.